Today, we are going to do some of the problems based on movement of resistance in singly reinforced beams. First, let us do this problem. Let us read the question and write the given data. Find the movement of resistance, depth of neutral axis and lever arm of a beam section with the width 250 mm. B is given as 250 mm. Effective depth D is given as 360 mm and reinforced with three numbers of 16 mm diameter bars. Using that, we can find the area of the steel in tension, the number 3 into the area pi d square upon 4. Here, the diameter is 16. So, pi into 16 square upon 4, we will get 603 mm square. FCK is given as 25 Newton per millimeter square. And FOE is given as 450 Newton per millimeter square. Now we have to check the code book IS 456, page number 96. First, we have to determine the depth of the neutral axis from the following equation. We can copy that. In this, let us apply all of the values. For XU upon D, we will get 0.27. Now let us see the second step. If the value of XU upon D is less than the limiting value, calculate the moment of resistance by the following expression. We need to find the limiting value of XU upon D. From the page number 70, we can take that. For FI 415, it is 0.48. Our value is less than the limiting value. So the section will be under reinforced. Using this expression, we can find the moment of resistance. In this expression, let us apply all of the values so that for MU, we will get this. We can divide this value by 10 power 6 so that we will get to MU in kilo Newton meter. We have found the XU upon D. For that, we have got 0.27. Using this expression, we can find the XU that is the depth of neutral axis which is 97.2 mm. Then using this formula we can find the lever arm. For the lever arm we will get 319.18 mm. Now let us see the second problem. In this problem B is given as 200.3 mm. The effective depth D is given as 428.2 mm. The reinforcement is given as 4 bars of 14 mm diameter so that for AST we will get 615.75 mm square. FCK is 15 and FOE is 415. For XU upon D we will get 0.48. Our FOE is 415. For that XU max upon D is 0.48. So XU upon D is equal to xu max upon d if both of these having the same value the section is balanced now we have to see the condition 3 if the value of xu upon d is equal to the limiting value the moment of resistance of the section is given by the following expression we have to copy this instead of xu max upon d we have to apply 0 0.48 in this way, we will get the limiting moment of resistance as 0.138 BD square FCK. Suppose you are given FE 250 and FE 500. Instead of XU max upon D, we have to apply 0.53 and 0.46 respectively. So that we will get these two formulas. In this formula, let us apply all of the values. For the limiting moment of resistance, we will get 76.02 kN meter. Let us see the third problem. The width is given as 200 mm. The effective depth is given as 400 mm. The reinforcement is given as 4 bars of 16 mm diameter. So this is the AST. FCK is 15 and FOE is 415. For XU max upon D, we will get 0.67. XU max upon D is 0.48. XU upon D is more than the limiting value. In this case, the section is over reinforced. 
if x u upon t is greater than the limiting value the section should be redesigned in this case also using this formula we can find the limiting moment of resistance we know that we can modify this formula for fe415 like this in the formula let us apply all of the values so that we will get the limiting moment of resistance as 66.24 kN meter now let us see another problem in this rectangular beam the overall depth is given as 450 mm but we need the effective depth let us assume that the effective cover as 40 mm so the effective depth d will be 450 minus 40 we will get 410 mm the working moment is given as 28 kN meter we have to convert that as factored moment we need to multiply with 1.5 in this way we will get 42 kN meter fck is 25 and foe is 500 we need to find the reinforcement in this problem first we have to find the limiting moment of resistance we know that for fe 500 we have to use this formula using this formula we will get this the given moment is less than the limiting moment so the section is under reinforced from the code book we can copy this formula in the formula we can apply all of the values we have to apply the moment of resistance in newton millimeter for that we have to multiply that with 10 power 6 in this way for ast we will get this alternatively if you can memorize this formula we can find the ast directly now we are going to see the last problem the breadth b is given as 250 mm the ultimate moment is given as 220 kN meter since the moment is mentioned as ultimate it is the factored moment fck is 20 and foe is 415 we need to find the minimum effective depth if the effective depth is minimum the section should be balanced we know that for fi 415 we have to use this formula in the formula we can apply all of the values in this way for the effective depth d we will get this now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video